hello there I have an objective system in place right now in my game if I um, show it to you right now it's saying find a clue it's one of the objectives I have uh, if I play again survive the attack it's another objective if I play again find a clue I beat up the fire goons or find collectibles it's another objective uh, fly through the target uh, I have an objective system in place right now let's create something uh, new for the objective system so what I have in mind is that we have something called the power move so I want to give the player a taste of how it's gonna uh, feel when you have the option to kill everyone around you without any limitation so it's gonna be really really enjoyable for them to um, so if I could find someone yeah there's someone yeah okay but every time I use my power move okay so every time I use my power move I have to use a quantum core which is not really easy to find super rare in the game actually um, you have to do missions you have to go through a lot to find even one and enjoy one power move so in this case I just want the player to have a taste of how it feels to just eradicate everyone uh, all at once okay so let's go to the uh, player blueprint system this is where I created all of my stuff so the objective system I have right now is super simple I mean everything should be simple or at least I'm I feel like it's simple uh, an objective system includes a UI which is the most important part and I'm doing everything in my um, hot part I have a base UI a widget blueprint that contains everything uh, this is the text that I'm using for my missions uh, it's just a uh, icon uh, to show the player where they should go I'm just going to change this text and I use some animations here and there but um, long story short I have everything in my hard menu in the base widget I'm using for everything objective complete hard menu even pause menu is uh, it happens in the base hard widget okay so I'm I have a objective complete it should be collapsed uh, and I'm randomly spawning some objectives I have five objectives which are going to be spawned randomly and uh, each of them each objective if you uh, if you want to find if you want the player to find the key you need a key blueprint for it and use that blueprint spawn the actor for that so this is the find out what happened missions for me I'm using the uh, get random location in navigable radius because I'm using uh, a navigation system for my game and the green places are where uh, there's an available point that can be used by this note here uh, the origin is definitely the player character uh, the actor location the radius is 10,000 and then I'm going to spawn the actor called whatever it's called and then I have to go ahead and uh, make sure to change this one this one should be a variable I'm just going to get the hot I mean I just spawned it add it to viewport and uh, created it a user blue uh, user variable for it if I tell you where it is it's getting set here so create hot widget add to viewport and say it right there and then I'm going to set the mission text uh, this is something else I had to do for specifically for this one 
and then if I'm playing a movie uh, don't do the compass start if I'm not playing a movie do the compass start and so on so what I'm going to do right now I need a new objective okay so I need a fifth or sixth objective I want something simple I want a uh, I want to give the player something like 60 seconds or more, maybe 120 seconds, and I'm going to be showing it here. Uh, and I'm pretty lucky, I've already created something like this. It's called, let me show you that. Uh, why? Oh, this one. Beat up the uh, fire goons or find collectibles. I have a. <coughs> timer here that's working so I can easily use that and then all I have to do is make sure that this one doesn't use any quantum cores so it should be pretty simple so the one I created for it uh, is this one so I'm going to have a delay I have a uh, custom event called beat up, beat up the goons I don't need this one it's just empty um, I'm spawning some zombie AIs in here. It's pretty simple. I'm just using a for loop, min to max for getting a random location, and then I'm making sure that they don't get stuck in the ground because sometimes they do. Uh, and then I'm spawning the actor. Uh, the actor again. The objective that you want to spawn is an actor, so make sure you go ahead and create an actor for it. For me, right now, I don't need an actor. I have everything. All I have to do is to make sure that the usage of power move doesn't um, doesn't use any quantum uh, we uh, quantum core. So that's pretty easy. So the timer is here. I've created this one. I definitely need this set visibility uh, and the time. So let's get started on this one. I want a custom event called power objective probably it doesn't really matter and um, I don't need it to be the goons but I definitely need the timer so I get this one the time uh, that time is just a text <laughs> I have in my base widget so if you can just drag and drop this one right here it's just super easy you just set the font and everything make sure it's a variable though and I need this set visibility for it um, and time sake I want it to be 120 and I want to set a timer by event as well. So control C. Actually, I want to set this one as well. I need a variable for it. Control V. Okay, I have everything I need now. I'm going to have the timer. The timer should be set to 120. Uh, this one needs a custom event actually. Uh, power timer this is the timer this one uh, it's going to be looped uh, it's going to be ticked every one second which is uh, can be really easily used as a counter and uh, so the time second I could easily uh, instead of setting this I could easily use uh, not use any variable and just write 120 in here but instead since I'm using this timer every everywhere I have to make sure that I'm setting it and I'm using one variable for everything altogether so this is the way I'm going to do it so every second I'm updating the text is the text um, so it just if you type in minus minus 
No, minus, minus, I'm sorry. Uh, decrement int is what I used. It subtracts one from the value of time sec. So you don't really need to get it uh, and set it again, subtract it. You can just use the decremental in integer easily and then set the text of time which is the easiest uh, way to do this one right here and then hook this one here and just make sure it works perfectly and then I'm going to um, yeah this one should work pretty neatly um, every time the timer works I want to hear something something like a tick you may not be able to hear it but this is the tick sound I need and the timer works and works and works and works until it reaches zero or this is pretty important if it sometimes it can reach zero and uh, maybe the players device lags or the performance is not so stable and it misses zero so it never is equal to zero so instead of facing something terrible like this I'm just making sure that if it's less than one uh, if it's less than one it's definitely zero right or minus one or minus two each one of those should make this one go through and then we'll continue from there so playing a sound Time if it's uh, less than one it goes here and then we make sure that this is visibility is collapsed its base visibility though is collapsed as well so we just set the visibility to the default value I mean the default value is definitely visible but for us it should be collapsed and then I need to okay if the set visibility okay this is making sure that the thing is finished <coughs> and then we need the uh, so we did right click promote variable we set it to goons timer and after after that you can just easily set this one right here we need to invalidate it clear and invalidate timer by handle so we get it we type in clear and invalidate make sure you clear it it's really important to clear it <coughs> okay what happens after the objective ends we'll need to think about it as well so w I already created something like this mission change which makes sure that uh, the whole thing starts from scratch goes all the way here and spawns something some other uh, objective maybe the same objective is completely random uh, all again and in the meantime um, I have to save the game as well so I need to know that if the save game exists, if it does, then load it, cast it, and save whatever that's needed in it, and uh, make sure that you save it to the slot. And if you're using a leaderboard, I have to make sure that I'm writing the leaderboard integer as well. So it's pretty simple stuff. Um, because I'm using a leaderboard called Rustbox leaderboard, Fun fact here, if you don't want to save the game, if you want to only use the Google Play Store, if you don't want to use any uh, server in the middle of everything, you can easily use the leaderboard as your save slot. So they sign in, they have all their accounts, and you have a little, little board here. You just want some numbers, right? It's just called Rustbox. Rust box is just a number, it's just a money, a currency we have in the game. So it's just a number that we have to write and then read 
leaderboard integer and simple as that and this is the value you'll get it's easy um, I have to save the game though because where else should I save the game and then I will if I want to double it I have a variable called rust earned and if the player is willing to spend two night skulls they can double their rust box it's just the economy I've created in the game uh, and then I'm, I'm doing some UI stuff I'm showing the objective complete some animations here so I have an animation here it's called objective complete um, everything's pretty basic. I have a sound that's getting played and the animation and uh, some delay and then spawning the next objective. Pretty simple stuff. So I need to <coughs> use the mission change and I need to know if I want to um, give the players some gift or a credit for uh, finishing the challenge. I mean a hundred Rust Box is gonna be really good. So that's okay. Rust Box change, I need that as well. And I guess we're going to be okay. Uh, Rustbox change is again another uh, function I've created so it just makes sure that every time you do something every time that something happens in the game you are using some Rustbox so it's just a sub subtraction uh, some adding stuff I have a variable a float variable called Rustbox uh, some hot stuff again as I told you this one right here it's a variable and I'm um, I'm changing the text all the time. I'm playing some animations, uh, and I'm setting the uh, col color whether it's going to be uh, a positive value or a negative value. So you know that you're losing some money or you're achieving something. <laughs> okay, it's here. Okay, so this is finished. Uh, all I need is to... So this is the basic of my objective system. All I need right now is I want to know how I am doing the power stuff, which I can't remember. So I have to go into the button. Huh, fun fact, it's called block button because I wanted to have a block my game then I ended up not having it because it's just different and it's called magic okay and this is the whole thing for my power it's using some sound some uh, weird stuff some animation if you aren't having any quantum um, quantum cores Okay, I don't need to actually quantum core change. Okay, I don't need to do it. So I need a variable here. A variable, the variable is called power object. Ah, that's enough. And I need to. No, I don't want to set it. I hold, uh, I hold control on my keyboard to get it, and I need to do a branch here. If the power objective is true, a uh, default value is gonna be false. If the power objective is true, it's not gonna do anything. If it's false, though, it's, uh, default value is false. It's going to change minus one. So all I have to do right now is making sure that I have this one set to true. And then when everything's finished, I need to set it back to false. And this should work just fine. Uh, 
I have to change the text though. I didn't do that. Power objective, okay. I didn't do that. I need to do that now. Maybe I should just just a little bit of space here. Man, it's, it's going to be really, really complicated though. Okay, so my mission is going to be I don't want to um, spawn anything. So uh, yeah, that's okay. So I need to set this. So the mission I have right now is um, uh, this one. It's called mission in my heart. I can easily uh, get my heart variable that I had set before. Um, get mission and set the text for it. It's um, as simple as that. And uh, let's call it something. I. It's always the hardest part. It's where where my creativity ends, to be honest. So it's we need to know we need to let the player know that oh I need to do something else as well. We need to know uh, let the player know that they can easily and freely use their power. So power heaven is not what I'm looking for. It's like the worst idea. Maybe eradicate everything with your power moves. Yay. So, okay, I guess this is it. Power objective is what it's called. So, I'm going to just type in power objective. And I need to test it. So, when my game starts, I need it to be the first one. I don't have the time to wait for it to randomly show up. I mean, that's the worst case. Okay, the timer is working. I I just need to know whether the power um is working or not. So this is 46 and it's still 46, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's like a heaven right now. I can easily use my power move. And just so you know, it's the first power move I created. I'm going to create a shop for power moves. I'm going to add a lot of more power moves that you can just buy uh, and wear <laughs> the power moves and then use them against your enemies, the different ones. Okay, it's still 46. I just want to know right now what happens after the mission is finished. So maybe 20 seconds is... Good. Okay, I just need to do something else as well. Maybe I could kill someone in 20 seconds. In 15 seconds, I have less time than I had anticipated. Oh yeah, I, I could kill this one. Oh no. Okay. So it's finished. I got 100 rust box. I am doubling it and yes it works that's pretty cool so now I only need to show the player that you only have this one not this one not this one not this one I just want you to use this one uh, so I have to make sure that these are collapsed okay so this is the button what this was the four uh, punch button Uh, this is called, it's not called anything, visible button 
and this fly buttons is not a variable it should be a variable okay everything's cool okay punch button invisible uh, and fly buttons I need to make sure that these are collapsed okay hot so I need a punch button I need a invisible button and a fly buttons the fly buttons is a canvas panel I guess yeah it is a canvas panel I created to uh, because when you hit that fly button there are two more buttons that are for going higher or lower and I wanted all of them to be in the same place then I need to set the visibility to collapsed I don't want them to work anymore this should work just fine and then I need to set the visibility back to the default value as well and now we should have everything back in place so the everything's working oh what about this one hmm it just got rid of this okay uh, okay it worked that was okay and then they are back to normal but they're not working and it works but not this one this one works as well but what why isn't this working yeah I know I don't know um, and if I use my power move again it subtracts one okay that's cool so I all I need right now is oh it's mm, yeah my bad it's not called fly buttons it's called what is it called fly b <laughs> okay fly b fly b okay, it's called fly b and um going to why is it still working I want it to oh yeah here and here okay so it should work now yeah so now all I have is just the power move and then when everything's done when the objective is complete I should have I want to double it as well I should have everything back and they're working just fine and the power moves working everything's okay so maybe I just have to play test a little bit to make sure that everything's working just fine okay I think that's it I just need to go ahead and make sure this one goes right here and this is called six because it does this mm, between zero and max minus one thing uh, which I don't really understand but if you have five then you need to add six in here okay I guess this is it and let's call it uh, if you hit C you can say power objective so you have something 
that's not visible but at least it looks better I mean I don't really understand it so it's find the clue everything works fly through the target find the clue I just want to see the objective I just created one more time find out what happened beat up the fire goons survive the attack fly through the target we'll find out what happened I know what happened I'll find the clue beat up nah eradicate everything with your power moves I just need to fix this one as well the timer I need 120 not 20 okay and that's it I guess I'll just yeah and this is the whole thing you just need some UI some animation some pieces of codes to make sure everything works just fine the games free to play of course you can just go ahead and play it for free links in the description and I wish you a great time playing it